Greetings, mortals. Jerry Petty here with IGN, and today we're talking about Schemata and Schema in Lightning Returns Final Fantasy XIII. Now, what's a Schemata? Well, language nerds, it's the plural of Schema. And what's a Schema? Well, really, it's just a character class. You see, in Lightning Returns, we only have one party member, Lightning, and she can switch at will between three of these Schemata, or Schema, or character classes. Right now, we've got her set to the Savior, Dark Muse, and Black Mage. But here in the demo, she can also switch to Red Mage, Heart Stealer, and Dragoon. And you'll notice a lot of these are uh, evocative of previous character classes from old Final Fantasy games. There are a lot more schema that are going to be available in the uh, full game, but we're going to concentrate on these six right now. So, what makes each schema, each class, unique? Well, you're going to see here that schema can be customized by a type of garb, a certain weapon, a shield, up to two accessories, and we see both those slots right now are uh, empty for the Savior Schema. One adornment, which is a purely cosmetic change. Like we can put a beret on her here, pointy hat, some shades, a tail. These don't do anything but change appearance. Uh, and then four customizable abilities. Now, some of the garbs have built-in abilities. You'll look here and see that lock next to it. That indicates that the equilibrium garb we see above comes with that built right in, but the others are customizable and you can switch all kinds of things out for them. You can also move them to different slots uh, tied to the face buttons in combat if you want, and this is handy if you want to be able to uh, juggle between abilities very quickly. In a fight, you can use the shoulder buttons on your controller to switch quickly between these three schemata, uh, schema, whatever they are, classes. Let's just call them that from now on. You can switch between these classes uh, any way you want by uh, pressing your shoulder buttons, and as your ATB meter decreases from the use of abilities on one, you can switch to another class and allow that meter to recharge in the background while you're using the abilities associated with this one. So let's look at these six and see what makes them special. First, we have the Savior. And if you look at the top right of your screen, you're going to see that the uh, maximum ATB and the starting ATB are both at 100. That's very balanced. You see the attack and uh, magic up there are about the same at 330 and 330. And looking at the bottom of the screen, you see default ATB and all that set pretty easily. It's, it's just designed to be a sort of a generic uh, balance class. Dark Muse, on the other hand, if we look here at abilities, is equipped with a heavy slash, a frost strike, an attack, and then a basic guard. And you're going to see that the abilities, that ATB starts a little lower, which means you're not going to want to use this as your initial schema, but rather one that you switch to later on. And that the attack's higher, but the magic's lower. So Dark Muse is built mostly to be a brawler, to come in after your initial round of attacks and then really beat somebody up. The third one, Black Mage, is kind of the opposite. You see that her attack ability is very low, but her magic is extremely high. She also has a high maximum ATB, so you're going to be able to switch to her after a little while and use a lot of different magical effects. And then you see that she's got no melee attack at all, but one defense and three different magical attacks, all based on different elements or different speeds of firing. See, Quick Freeze and Blizzaga, they're both ice effects, but one fires very quickly, one fires one massive attack, and each of those are going to be useful in different situations. You also got three optional guys, and we can switch these out, not in combat, but any time between combat, we could switch these out with one of our three mains uh, and make it available. One of them here is the Red Mage, which is pretty much exactly what you'd expect. Uh, very well balanced between attacks and defenses. As a matter of fact, her Garb provides an 8% physical and 8% magic uh, damage change uh, inherently. Uh, you're also going to see that she's got a debuff there. That's what the little sad face means. A Metaguard. Yay, glad to see that back. A Buster Ruin, which is a health healthy attack. And then a Light Slash. Now, why would you want to use a Light Slash instead of regular attack? Well, in combat in Final Fantasy XIII, Lightning Returns, or vice versa, whatever it's called, uh, lights, uh, combos only go up to uh, five different hits, and then there's a little time you have to wait. Light Slash isn't like that. You can just keep pounding away. It's a great way to pick at an enemy doing a little bit of damage, and while you're doing that, allow the ATBs on your two other characters to build back up after they've been expended. It's really handy that way. Then we have the Heart Stealer. Uh, what's the Heart Stealer there for? Well, if you look at the Heart Stealer abilities, you see she's got a pretty high attack, but different kinds of attacks here. A Leaping Rush that's going to bounce an enemy up in the air for certain kinds of uh, other attacks or juggling. A Punt that knocks an enemy back uh, and uses a low ATB. A Basic Attack, and then of course the Evade ability, which uh, when you time it right, can allow you to avoid all damage from certain attacks. Finally, you've got the Dragoon. Yay! Lancet ability. Yep. 
We got Lancet back. Look at that. That's wonderful. The ability to deal a lot of damage and gain life back. A counter blow. That's a different kind of guard, which uh, sends an enemy's attack back at him, kind of Luke Skywalker lightsaber style. Uh, beat down and a charge strike. And look at that really high physical ability there on the Lancer. Now again, none of these are necessarily inherently tied to a schema. You can switch these abilities out at will and customize them and then you can use uh, uh, other things to... It's just really cool, uh, honestly, what you're able to customize with all of them. Despite the fact there's only a few slots, there's a lot you can do. And you can build a whole list of these, it looks like. We've only got the six here in the demo, but I imagine we're going to see a lot more. So, how do these schema play out in combat? We're going to show in a second uh, how you switch between them to get just the abilities you need to whip somebody. We're actually uh, right behind a, a niblet right now in the pause. So we're going to pop over there and you're going to see these three guys in action. Although I think the combat's not going to last all that long. I think we're ready equipped for it. So, let's pop back into the main game and see everything applied. And while you're doing that, I'll, uh, I'll give you a little something to think about. So... Popping out here, and we say, oh, sneak up on him, attack, bouncing in, and here we go. Let's show it off. So you say a schema, and I say schemata, you say potato, and I say patata, schema, schemata, potato, patata, keep it locked to IGN.